Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and uh, uh, I had a, I think it was Drylix, how I'd pronounce that, um, ask a question about using a regular expression, and um, especially uh, this regex max, uh, match, excuse me. And so basically you're looking for a pattern and you're trying to find multiple instances in his example here. So he wanted to grab the, uh, this 1872, the 4180, and the 6860. The difference being with regex match compared to replace is... Once it finds the first instance of whatever, it stops. And you have to basically keep track of where you are in the, the, the length of the string and then start up again and do it again. So um, I put mine in a loop. And so here we're just storing it in STR and you can see that's the haystack, right? And then um, we also wanna store, we have to tell AutoHotKey, hey, start at the first position. It's a little weird, just don't forget this because if you don't, it breaks and it's pretty annoying, but that's just the way it is. And, um, we're gonna do, I actually, I, I adapted, he, his regular expression would work fine. I, I prefer using the slash D and um, for a number, then it's gonna be either three or four numbers, right? So it's gonna look for those. And I actually, actually I added, instead of having the white, actually, I think he had a space here. Um, I like putting the slash S and you know, in reality, I should do a slash S plus. So it's one or more white spaces um, just to allow for some flexibility there. Um, probably never comes up, but I like being able to do that. Um, I'm gonna dump it into an object and then um, this is the, where you're putting, initially it's gonna be set to one, right? So it starts at one, but you'll notice later, I update that position. So the first time through, it starts at the very beginning, but after the first one, let's get off of that. Um, it takes the found position and stores it in where POS is. And actually, if I, let me let me throw up a message box here. So when we run this, I'm gonna save it and run it, um, you're going to see, so the first time it found it, actually the first one was before this and it started at one, but then right after it, it found it at the 23rd position and then the 68th position and then the 113th. So each loop, this is going through the loop, right? And each one of these, it's going to, um, it keeps going, moving forward on where to start searching and then searching basically left to right from there on. Uh, let me see before we get to the, I, well, let's go ahead and okay here. It should, oh, one... Um, sorry, that was, um, oh, that started over, basically it was done. And now here are the three nut values he wanted. Um, I stored them in this variable PID. And so it's just putting it in here. Um, the obj.1 is the, the first, because it's starting over each time, it's the first one it finds. And I'm storing it in this variable PID and I just display it. So let me get rid of this here. And let me just talk through uh, what we're doing here specifically. So first we loop over the text and just each time it finds it, it's gonna, jump back and start again. We store um, the found position, and then we add that to the length of, I think it's what's less, uh, left. Um, and then basically if it doesn't find it, that's where OBJ will no longer be an object because it doesn't find it, then it's gonna break the loop, right? But meanwhile, if it did find it, it goes ahead and adds um, the actual value found with a, a new line um, at the end of it into the PID. Of course, you may not want it this way, but it's fine. Um, and this is where we're seeing the results. Um, honestly, to me, it was confusing the differences between uh, regex match and um, regex replace because replace will go through and it does the whole thing multiple times. Whereas the match, the way, and I highly recommend, I'm, I'm linking here, you can go here and it'll link you to the auto hotkey regular expression book from Jack Dunning. And, um, as clear as the auto hotkey documentation is on regular expressions, this book walks you through step by step. I think it was a great book for people to, to slowly start. He explains it if I remember right. And I read this years ago, but it was the regex train and the train leaves the station. And you know, on the, the match it, it, you need to keep going along keep track of where it was and start it back up again. Whereas the replace, you don't have to worry about that stuff. And, and honestly it was, it was one of those really weird things, but reading it in a book and working through the examples he has really helped. And I think the book is um, five bucks or so, six bucks. Yeah, it's it's well worth it. Um, um, I honestly I, I, um, print out the stuff and work through them, but the examples he has are great. So um, that's where I would definitely recommend, or just start playing with them and piecemeal it down to something very, very, very simple and start tracking what you're doing and, and you can work through it. But um, having the book was a big help. So hope that helps. Cheers.